the Chinese built a vast structure using billions of tons of solid stone and bricks. It sat on a sturdy foundation of huge granite blocks. Smooth bricks made the sheer walls almost impossible to scale. And battlements protected the defenders at the top. Rubble was crammed between the brick faces to create a stable core. And smooth stones paved the top. Nearly 23 feet high and over 16 feet thick, this wall was impenetrable. Whenever visitors reach the wall, they always tend to ask the same questions. And one of those questions is, why is the wall here and not over there or over here? William studies the landscape around the Great Wall to understand why the Chinese built where they did. From the top of this watchtower, I can see precisely why the wall is here. Down here, low ground, ascending, ascending, and this is the peak. And the wall is taking that peak line up to the peak over there. I move to the right and the wall descends. Level of the mountains falls away dramatically. This is the absolutely perfect line for this section of wall. The wall's builders followed the high ground, but their path was never a simple straight line. Initially, I couldn't see any logic in that seemingly haphazard route that the wall took. But actually, all of these twists and turns, I believe, are for a purpose. It improved their opportunities in terms of lines of fire, not only in the faces of the enemy, but from the side. The Chinese built the Great Wall to follow the terrain, rising 4,921 feet to the tops of mountains. They positioned watchtowers 492 feet apart to maximize their kill zones, and cleared the trees for two miles so raiders were in clear view. Spurs extended the line of sight to guard against attacks. No enemy in their right mind would want to fight with the Chinese right here. 